inspection, Sergeant. Sergeant Sanitary. Of the 163rd Cleaning and Pressing Battalion. <laughs> I think Sergeant BJ looks sharp as a tack. You think he looks sharp now? You ought to see him with his pants off. His legs are iron. <laughs> I hope he don't notice that dirt on the ground. <laughs> if he does, he send France out with the laundry. <laughs> Be ready Tuesday. Be ready Tuesday. <laughs> Get back to work over there. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Sergeant. I was terribly careless. Yes, sir. Did I uh, get a lot of mud on you? Just enough, sir. <laughs> Believe me, I'm one sorry lieutenant. You certainly are, sir. <laughs> Send that foot on a three-day pass before it sends me to the pistachio house. Sergeant Bryant requesting permission to speak to the captain, sir. I know who you are. I got the concussion to prove it. <laughs> Tell me what you want and save no waste up. Yes, sir. First of all, sir, I'd like to apologize for my appearance. What's wrong with it? This mud. I like it. It blends with the ground. <laughs> That's what you came to apologize. No, sir. I have a little gift here. Yeah? For a general. <clears throat> what general? Johnson. Never heard of no Johnson general. General Theodore Johnson, sir? He was one of the first in my race to achieve that rank. Great. Whose side was he on? <laughs> he was always my inspiration. I served under him at Fort Benning when the general was a colonel captain. General Colonel Kempton. <laughs> well, he's presently at Chafe headquarters at Corbet. I'd like to give him this gift, only it's too valuable to trust ordinary fordering. So I'd like a special driver to deliver these in person. Valuable? What is it? Cigars, sir. Cigars? Pure Havana. Havanas? Yes, sir. I was fortunate in getting... Havana cigars? Yes, sir. Cigars from Havana? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Havana Cuba? Si. Let me smell them. Sir? Come on, one little whiff. Ain't gonna hurt you, it's gonna do me a lot of good. But, sir, it's a gift. I wouldn't this want to... This is your captain speaking, Sergeant Muddy Pants. <laughs> Havana's. <laughs> Perfume to my ears. May I have them now, sir? Hey, dummy. Learn how to be a cigar, stupid dog. These are too good to smoke. They should be served with marinara sauce and mozzarella. What about the driver, sir? He should be delivered by the best driver, Corporal uh, Williams. I know. And his partner, Dawson. Brooks, sir. Oh. Why did Dawson become Brooks? Never, sir. Brooks was always Brooks. He's the bunkmate of... Uh... Williams. I know. I got you. Uh, uh, send anybody you want. Goodbye, babies. Time to light up another El Stinkerino. Captain Calvelli? Yeah. I'd like you to have one. One of those. As a token of my esteem. That's nice, Sergeant. Gotcha. Pray you go. <laughs> Enjoy, sir. Enjoy it. The way I feel about this beauty. I'd like to check into a motel with you. 
What are you hanging around for? Monopoly. <laughs> Good, homeboy. I'm gonna put you in for the distinguished garbage cross. We was told to police this area. Now, you ain't hardly picked up nothing. What kind of policing is that? I mean, the Secret Service. <laughs> Cut that out. Oh, près de mes blondes, qu'il fait bon, fait bon, fait bon. Oh, près de mes blondes, qu'il fait bon, fait bon, fait bon. Oh, près de mes blondes. Bonjour, mes soldats. I was just calling this a little. I hope that bird's over 21. Why? Because I'm going to attack it. Oh, how inconsiderate of me. Would you like a taste? We shall now form an orderly stampede. <laughs> It's more salt. It's the old Chinese duck torture. <laughs> Which part do you prefer? Oh, I like everything but the plate. I never met a duck I didn't like. <laughs> Why don't I put it on the table and you take what you want? Oh, how stupid of me, I forget the wine. You know something, Jedediah? The French didn't burn Joan of Arc. They aggravated her to death. <laughs> now we are ready. However... Somebody asked for a side order, however? I need a favor. Well, why don't we turn to the duck while we talk about it? First the favor, then the duck. Deal. My niece, he is getting married. I'm sure he'll make a lovely bride. The wedding is in La Loupe, a town about uh, 40 kilometers from here. I would like you to take me there in your truck. Is that all? We can stash you in the back. Now hand over that plate while I do a hit medley of swallowing. Yeah, we're taking a load of ammo up to Patton first thing tomorrow. Tomorrow? The wedding is today, three o'clock. We don't leave till tomorrow. Look, madam, there ain't no way we can leave here by truck till tomorrow. Bon voyage, monsieur. In other words, no trucky. No duck. <laughs> Double clutches. <laughs> we sure came close. Well, close uh, counts in horseshoes. Watch your language. Where you up? We're sorry, it was two other guys. We'll never do it again. Does that about cover it, Sergeant? Hard as it may be to believe, Williams. This was almost going to be the second straight day you didn't mangle the mangle. I must be losing my touch. Two things you ain't never lost your touch for. That's jiving and driving. Anything we can do for you, Sergeant? Sit down. Actually, Brooks, I came over here to thank you both for volunteering. Hey, sweet. Did you volunteer us for something? We'll know in a minute. I want you to drive a very important package up to Shafe headquarters. Us? How come you trust in me with your valuables so all of a sudden? Because anybody that's run from the law as much as you have has got to be a great driver. Years of practice and self-denial. And I need the best driver in the outfit for this mission. It's for General Theodore Johnson. Wow. That's a great honor. Why do you think we volunteered? <laughs> What's in the package, Sarge? It's top secret. And if either one of you smokes one of them top secrets, or if one of them pure Havana top secrets gets rifled, riffled, roughed up, or rustled, I'm gonna lean on your back so hard that you'll be able to tie your shoestrings with your mouth. <laughs> roll out at noon. Sergeant BJ? Where is Chafe headquarters? It's at Corbet, on the northern route, about 20 kilometers past La Loupe. <laughs> La Loupe! <laughs> hey, you 
getting ready to go somewhere? <laughs> I got a date with a duck. <laughs> I'll see if she got a sister for you. Put some of this on so that bird knows that it's being dined on by two gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, madame. Magnifique, no? This duck is music to my lips. Quack, 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 quack. Just look at that fine brown skin. Mm. So fresh and crisp. <laughs> and them wings just waiting to fly into our teeth. Hey, I can even hear them drumsticks playing. Boom, titty, boom, boom. Let's, Let's eat. eat. Huh? Before the meal, a small favor. What happened? I don't know. In this restaurant, you get the check before you eat. Uh, what, what kind of favor? My niece is getting married, and I need a ride. Uh, is the wedding in Europe? Of course. Then you got it. So pass the duck, please. What time do we leave? Uh, uh, we're bringing a load of gas to the Third Army. Our truck pulls out at uh, 2 o'clock. Today? Hey, today. Huh? Good. I will be ready. Bon appétit, monsieur. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Uh, get lost, double crooked. Me and High Shrunk have made a deal with this lady. We're taking her to a wedding at 2 o'clock. I see your 2 o'clock and raise it to noon. Can you be ready by 12, Madame Delacour? I mean, gee, this is encore mieux pour moi. D'accord. <laughs> There you go, Jed. Sweet. Hmm? Don't you think we ought to give them some of the duck? Oh, we're absolutely gonna. We just ain't ate our way back to that part yet. <laughs> Senora. Oui, mon capitaine. Got a minute? No. Good. I just got these pictures from home. Perhaps some other time. Look at this. My four daughters, don't I be sure you picture them? Too many times. And this is your chance. And here's my oats. Maria Teresa had a confirmation last week. And these are her sisters standing next to her. Anna Christine, Rose Marina, and Molly. Four jewels of my crown. Confirmed already. I remember the day she was born, I wasn't even home. I was delivering a load of bruised fruit to Poughkeepsie. Oh, I had to get there before sunup. Because if the Babinazzo brothers got a look at some of those moldy melons, they'd have fitted me with a pair of cement loafers. <laughs> but something told me, you know, like my ears got a vision. I stopped at a phone booth, called up. Sure enough, Maria Teresa was born. She was a girl. I'd have been there, except Peggy wasn't due for another two weeks. But it was the first baby. What did she know? After that, three more poor girls. But I gotta tell you something, Madame Delacourt. I need a son. I'm 62 years old. Oh, let me explain. It was my father's last wish on his dying chair. My father died in the chair, my father. Right at the supper table. <laughs> oh, he could eat. Kind of bless his soul. First time I ever saw sparks fly from his saucer. <laughs> Stuffed himself. For 20 years, we couldn't button his pants. <laughs> I'll never forget when he went. He was on his third helping to squid the envelope. <laughs> Suddenly, his eyes started rolling around his head. And just like that, he stumps over into his pasta. <laughs> Poor guy. Went right from rigatoni to rigor mortis. <laughs> well, thanks for listening. Does a guy good. Okay, here's the map. The roads are all marked in red. And these are the top secrets. Your secrets are safe with us, Sergeant. Okay. What's this? Just want to make sure you're not carrying any matches, cigarette lighters, or flame. <laughs> wouldn't want anybody to be puffing on these classifiers. Oh, don't worry, Sergeant BJ. We wouldn't do nothing to mess up your present for General Johnson. Those cigars gonna be all right. 
Whoever said they were cigars. Sergeant BJ, we will guard whatever those are just the same as if they were what you think I don't know they are. And I believe that they ain't, because you said that they couldn't be. All right, Molly. And follow the red ball rules. Don't want no stops. Don't want no writers. I want your only companion to be fit. Fear, Sergeant? Yeah, of me. <laughs> because if anything happens to these babies, I'm going to incorporate you. That's right. You're going to be known far and wide as the Acme Latrine Cleaning Company. <laughs> we never close. <laughs> now, roll out. Sure it does, only 10 years later. Eh bien, qu'est-ce qui n'est arrivé? Ma chère Amelia, Jean-Pierre, Henri. Oh, ma chère belle sœur, vous savez que Jean-Pierre ne peut pas être là pour le mariage. Pourquoi? Il est parti en mission secrète pour la résistance. Oh, quel malheur, quel désastre. What's going on? Ah, it's a great problem. The groom, he cannot be here for the wedding. He's on a military mission. Oh, that's terrible. Not if you're the groom, it ain't. Well, bye, Madame Delacourt. See y'all, folks. Jedediah. Messieurs. Uh, we, we can go ahead with the bagage with uh, this piece of paper. It is, uh, how you say, uh, a proxy. Well, if you got that, you got no problemi. <laughs> but uh, we must have a young soldat to stand in Jean-Pierre's place. Uh, and uh, you uh, are the only soldats we have. Well, then you do have a problem. <laughs> oh, messieurs, messieurs, pouvez-vous sauver le mariage? What do you say? I think he thinks you ought to stand in for the groom. What? Repeat after me. Jaffe. What's that mean? I do. But I don't. But you do. No, I won't. You understand, it's not you that I do. It's he that do. Then how come I'm doing it? Because he's not here to do his own I do. But if I do, does that mean I did? No, it means that he did. He's just doing his do through you. See? Yeah. I sure hope we're saying something. <laughs> Madame Delacourt, Monsieur... I am ready to give the groom away. <laughs> Pour les chrétiens, le mariage n'est pas seulement un important contrat et une source de vie, c'est l'union la plus intime et la plus sublime entre un homme et une femme. Jean-Pierre, voulez-vous prendre, Geneviève, ici présente, votre légitime épouse, selon le rite de notre mère, la Sainte Église? Selon le rite 
de notre Sainte Église He do. Oui. Oui. We do. I mean, they, they do. Yeah. Geneviève, voulez-vous prendre Jean-Pierre ici présent pour votre légitime époux, selon le rite de notre mère, la Sainte Église? Oui, je veux. Merci, merci mes amis, merci mille fois. <laughs> a thousand thank yous. Well, a thousand you're welcome. So you did real good, old buddy. Merci, mon ami. Real nice meeting you. <laughs> Madame Delacourt, she's gone bananas with the Havanas. <laughs> Pardon, monsieur. It is bad luck to smoke cigars when they're lit. It'll stunt your growth. <laughs> Hey, buddy, can you tell me where I can find a General Theodore Johnson? Don't you move a damn inch. <laughs> As you were. You must be Corporal Williams. He is General, and so am I. <laughs> I mean, I'm a... You're Private Brooks. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Sergeant Bryant called the head. I'm, I'm afraid these saw a little action along the way, sir. box of cigars like these is worth a whole truckload of what I've been smoking. <laughs> Give this to Sergeant Bryant with my thanks. Have a good trip back, man. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Wow, sweet. Wasn't that something? General Theodore Johnson. Oh, that city folks are always meeting celebrities. <laughs> yeah, but ain't every day you get to meet a black general. And it ain't every day you marry a French girl, either. <laughs> Williams, Brooks, I want to thank you both. You really delivered the goods. Nice being on the same side for a change, Sarge. Oh, it was a pleasure, sir. Uh, you guys had a long day. Get the sack. <laughs> Nudgel on me, sir. Hey, sweet, don't do that. What do you mean, don't? It's your wedding night, honey. It's traditional. <laughs> Here come the groom into his room. <laughs> Thank you. 